All right. So have you sung any today? I've warmed up a little bit. Yeah? What did you do? Um, I did some head voice, chest voice, kind of trying to get things warmed up, did some scratches. Mm -hmm. um, I've been living in contemporary music land. Yeah, so, so. I know. I know. <laughs> so I was trying to get, kind of get things moving at the top again. So. Okay. Cool. Well, you want to take your straw? Mm hmm And um, since we have to sing in minor mode today, how about uh, doing an ooh into your straw? seal around the straw. Okay. Yeah. That's quite different. Can you just do a little glissando with the siren around a little? Yeah, okay. Now I'll try that one again. Yeah, so. you know, and this aria has a lot of, you got to sing delicately at times, you know, mm -hmm. and so the, I think, especially for working kind of the lower and middle stuff, doing some with a straw might be very helpful to find that, okay, it's that very light, delicate kind of balanced sensation when mm -hmm. I sing this. Cool! We're not going to stop singing. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's quite the opposite, isn't yes. it? Okay, well, speaking about that, let's start with, uh, how about just blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, pair up 
two things. So, um, you know, and then. smidge more just like okay, okay. I'm starting to blow the dust off. <laughs> That's what about 
percent, you're not like really gunning it. You're just kind of yeah. Okay. I'm just letting it go. Yeah. yeah. I think the raspberry takes care of giving you a good balance. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Um. changes with the dynamic level. And you know, I mean, if you want a piece to work on legato, yes, and, and you know, not singing like a pig and all that kind of stuff <laughs> that most of us are guilty of, this is the one, yeah, okay. I'd much rather sing it double time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. All right, so go the tempo you need to go. I'm not gonna drag you behind, you know, but. Just lead me if I'm, I'm going too slow. Okay.
you can you recall the flow that we were getting when you did the? Oh yeah. In fact, why don't you start? <laughs> you must know how to modify the front vowels, you know? Because it's, it's all E's and A's and stuff everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, up on, you know, the G's where you've got ist and avish, you've got enough e in it, but I think just a little bit of that e plus a, you okay. know? Just a little more a. So, a, a, you know, or you might think, as in French, like OE, you know, it's a little bit of that blend, okay? okay? So, yeah, uh, let's go back to the beginning again, because I think if you get it at ist, you know, and then AV, the whole thing is going to fly well. Yeah, Sorry, I just wanted Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. because that's a good tongue release as as you go up. Yeah, and a tongue release is certainly going to be helpful with what's going on jaw-wise. Okay. Yeah. Try one more time watching. So I think, you know, 
just some mirror time watching there. Okay. Yeah. And getting that vowel shading just right, you know, it's a little bit of that, it's a little bit of, uh, you know, and of course, depending on how loud you want to sing, the louder you want to sing, the more you're going to go the fuller. If you wanted it more delicate, you could do more of just the F. Yeah, it's up to you. Okay. Okay, let's go on. Because it'd be good to get into that run, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he said with a wicked laugh. Oh, I'm because it's like, okay, well, it works if I sing at this intensity level, but if I take it up a notch, you know, it might be freer or it might grab, and it's kind of finding that balance. Think about things that help you maintain the flow, you know, because it's when we get the, the pressure flow balance a little out of whack with each other, you know, when the pressure is a little higher, ratio wise then that's where we do the grip thing mm -hmm. so so then that comes back to breathing in a lot of ways mm -hmm. yeah because <laughs> this is a different thing you know can we start at number comp again and um yeah really you know thinking that nice buoyant lateral kind of expansion right where you come in there what's my stuff because you got to integrate that with the technical you know so where are you going with Nimmer kommt ihr von Stunden yeah because that's the dissonant note Nimmer kommt ihr von Stunden you know a lot of times in Mozart you're going that very last note practically you know phrases it's not the muscular kind of go to the end of the phrase like you have in something like Verdi, but it is that sing through the line to the end. Okay. okay? How about forget words, just do it, just like vocalize it on ah one time and okay. just think flow, 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 flow in musical shape. shape there for sure. Could you have a little more flow at the onset there on the F? Yeah. Good. Go ahead, just on off. 